Okay guys, I'm going to do a quick run through of uh, my four string basses and let you hear them. Hopefully uh, this camera will pick up the, the audio well enough that you can actually kind of make out the differences. I'm going to do a short, just play a short little bit on each of these so that you can kind of compare and contrast. Uh, it's kind of a random assortment. I've got an 86 Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray. I've got a Made in Mexico Getty Lee Fender Jazz Bass. I've got a um, cheap Squire Affinity Precision Bass. I've got my bass that I built out of a $65 kit off of eBay. And I've got a Warwick Rock Bass Corvette. Um, so I'm going to run through these real quick and let you hear them. Uh, kind of back to back to back to back to back. And I'm not a music store bass player, so I'm just going to kind of play a riff finger style because that's how I play. And this is the Stingray. Stingray, all of the EQ is set flat. Uh, I do not have anything boosted. All the controls are in the exact middle uh, on that bass. Now on the Getty Lee Jazz, which is what I'm going to play next, I do have the tone boosted all the way up. Um, and here's what that sounds like. Next, I will do the Warwick Rock Bass Corvette. It's the passive version. Um, the controls on it, I've got set, I've got them set the way I like them, so I don't really know how to describe that. I've got them not boosted all the way up, but not all the way down either, so sorry about that. That's pretty vague, but here's what it sounds like. playing through a Galen Kruger Backline 600 and an old uh, Carvin 410 cabinet. Um, here is the Squire Affinity and I do have the tone boosted on it as well. And these are ancient strings on this thing. I have no idea how old they are. Technically least, my $65 build that I did. Uh, I like this bass a lot. I do have the tone boosted on it as well. it. 
so that's that's just uh, so people can compare that a little bit and uh, hope you got something out of that thanks <laughs>